Welcome back to Go Winnipeg. Once again, we're on location here at the Fairmont Lounge, and my special guest is Master Blender, Dr. Don Livermore from Corby's. And what did you just pour? Uh, this is Weiser's Legacy. Uh, this is a brand uh, that we've launched in the last couple of years. Mm -hmm. um, and what's significant about this brand, it is 33% uh, rye, oh. which is a uh, far more rye than uh, you would typically see in the Canadian whiskey industry. Right, okay. Uh -huh. So um, I wanted to ask too, how do you serve whiskey? On the rocks? I always go by the rule of thumb, enjoy a drink. If you want it with <laughs> cola, if you want it on neat on the rocks, enjoy a drink. What's your favorite? My favorite is Weiser's Legacy. I like it in a Manhattan. In a Manhattan? Yeah, oh. That's what I drink on a Saturday night watching hockey. Sweet guy. All right. Okay, th there was uh, some more questions, I guess, on the different types now. I mean, it's like wine. The different, I guess, techniques you have to make whiskey taste different. Yeah, uh, there's lots of different things we can do with whiskey. Uh, we can obviously select the different types of grains mm -hmm. to give uh, certain characteristics and bouquet to the, to the uh, product. We can distill it differently, whether we can uh, strip out characters to make it nice and light, or we can pot distill it to make it very heavy and keep the full bouquet of the grains and, uh, and the yeast fermentation characteristics like the fruitiness and the floral notes and the, uh, and the, and the uh, spicy notes as well. Um, we can also age them in different kinds of wood. Uh, we can age them in port barrels, which would give a port uh, characteristic to the whiskey, or we can age them in brand new barrels, such as uh, Lot 40 and Legacy here, which gives you lots of vanilla, caramel, toffee notes. Um, number of things we can do. And never steel barrel. Always. Never steel. It has to be white oak. It has to be white oak barrel. We're, we're held to uh, legislation to be able to do that, yeah. Oh, very neat. Okay, how do you pair food with whiskey? Um, I, I, <laughs> that's a great <laughs> question. Uh, I usually have the whiskey uh, just as is uh, after dinner usually. Uh, but it is becoming more commonplace to be able uh, to have some whiskeys with, um, with uh, food. I, I did a chocolate tasting with whiskey uh, this year and I find that the uh, chocolatiers would want very spicy chocolates uh, that to go with a heavier rye whiskeys. Uh, but they'd give a sweeter, lighter chocolate to go to, with the whiskeys with less rye uh, in, in it. Oh, so fascinating, and you must have a great job tasting all of this. Uh, I am very, very <laughs> lucky, very lucky. I'm very one of a few individuals in Canada to say that uh, I'm a master blender. A master blender. Well, it's been a pleasure having you on the show, Don, and you can pour this one as the last sure. one. Talk a little bit about this one. This is a Lot 40. Uh, well, this is one that we launched uh, in November of uh, last year, and what's special about this brand, it is 100% rye. Ooh. Most uh, whiskeys uh, do not contain 100% rye, so it's got a full, full bouquet. I often would uh, call this brand like a single malt is to Canada. It's mm -hmm. our thing, it's our Canadian thing, is to make whiskeys from rye, and this is the 100% rye for this brand. I can smell it. Wow, this is incredible. Go out, get some rye, try it. If you haven't, you're going to love it. Coming up next, though, Kim Babich has this very good health report on why baby boomers, you must be aware.